So a name I haven't really heard in a while was 138th pick of the 2019 NFL Draft. That was Sharif Miller, defensive end from Penn State. Okay, um, been on Twitter a lot. You know, this past obviously this past year, as I'm not always on Twitter 24 seven, but when I get on, I kind of search on what's going on. And Sharif Miller, I follow him on Twitter. Kind of been posting nonstop things every single month, leading to pretty much this season coming up saying that he's pretty much coming back and he's ready to show what he's got. Um, unfortunately, with the Eagles making the mistake, as we all know, having the favoritism over the young guys to the veteran players, not playing any of the young guys, not throwing any of them in the fire. You have Sharif Miller out there. That was a development type player that we picked up. And I said, you know what? We need another defensive end. We'll see what happens. And... The one thing I could say about him, he's got good explosion off the line. But other than that, guys, when he gets upfield, he usually gets knocked out of a play pretty easily. And his hands are really not showing too much power. But not really his fault at the end of the day. The Eagles haven't started him one game this year. Obviously, we had some injuries around the secondary, some injuries around this team this past year. The worst injuries the Philadelphia Eagles have had in a while. And it's just progressively getting worse. Sharif Miller never, I don't even know how many snaps he had this year. Maybe he came in for a snap or two on certain games, but he really didn't show up at all. You have another defensive end on this team right now that, you know, could show some promise and hopefully could do something. I think if the, he doesn't get much playing time or he at least doesn't even try to get in this lineup or get much, you know, reps in preseason, I don't think he's really going to be anything for the Philadelphia Eagles whatsoever. You know, you have Brandon Graham, you have Derek Barnett. You got to see what you have in Josh Sweat. And I've been, I think Josh Sweat's playing very well. I think he's progressively every year getting a lot better. Not a superstar, but I think in a rotational defensive end scheme, I think he plays pretty damn good. Then you have Sharif Miller that's hungry as hell to get on the field and do some good things. And I'm just hoping, you know, we haven't really talked about him in a while because nothing's really been said about him. Nothing's really been talked about him. And you know, he's been training his butt off this past offseason, okay? He wants to make a name for himself. Not to mention, guys, you had Jannard Avery that we traded for, okay, with the Browns at the trade deadline last year for a fourth-round pick. You get Jannard Avery that has one more year left on his contract. He plays outside linebacker, and he plays defensive end. But for the Browns, he played outside linebacker. So the guy could play two positions, and he's been working his tail off, too. So competition at defensive end is, is a lot. There's a lot of guys uh, right now, but the unproven is mostly Jannard Avery, and now you have Sharif Miller. But I think Sharif Miller is the name because he literally just got drafted last year, barely got any snaps. And you know, they need to put him on the field more, they need to do something. We need to see something from him in this offseason. I don't know what's going on with the preseason games, they could be reduced, it could be long. I have no idea. For my opinion, I think they're going to be reduced to two or three games. But that's really all I got to say, guys. Sharif Miller is kind of the one defensive end we really haven't talked about too much and has been building himself up every year, tweeting out he's ready. He, they're all, he's going to show the world. He's going to show what he can do. And, you know, he's been bringing out these little quotes here and there. So let me know what you guys think about Sharif Miller coming to this lineup. Obviously, I don't want this to be a wasted pick, but it's getting closer to closer to where if he doesn't do anything this year, he shouldn't be on the team the next two years. Keep him on practice squad, and, and that's it. Because I really don't even have him making the roster unless he makes a really nice, complete jump. So we'll see what happens with that. Okay, guys, other than that, I will see you guys later. Shake squad up. Fly, I'll fly. I'm